The PN government, when they came to power, claimed that it was necessary to replace PH in order to save the Malays. They argued that under PH, the Malays would suffer, be humiliated, and ultimately lose their place in this country. What has they done since March to defend the Malays? They have only assembled a bloated cabinet which will cost the country an additional 7.6 million ringgit per year. They have placed members of parliament who already earn a generous allowances as directors in the GLCs where they take jobs away from qualified professionals, including Malays, and can increase their personal earnings by as much as 10,000 ringgit. The coalition comprised of the same party responsible for squandering billions worth of Bhumiputra shares unaccounted for and this need to be explained. They need to explain why hundreds and thousands of Malay reserve land has disappeared. And if this can be explained and resolved, there's no point in repeating the mantra or being savior of the Malays when you are part and parcel of the group and the ruling clique that have squandered billions from them in the name of saving the plight of the Malays. My position is implicit in this, that our concern is to protect the vast majority of the poor or relatively poor Malays, including the Chinese, Indian, Sabahans, and Sarawakians. Our recovery cannot simply be measured in terms of our GDP growth. This would only repeat mistakes of the past and the experience of other countries. The recovery has to be me measured holistically so that Malaysia emerges stronger and more resilient. What is the income gap between the rich and the poor? Is it expanding or contracting? What is the employment level of Malaysian youth? How successful are our SME businesses? Ultimately, this is not just a question of economics for economics to consider. Economists do not formulate policies in a vacuum. In Malaysia, it is politicians who adopt and implement or not. Ultimately, this is not just a question for economists to consider. Economists do not formulate policies in a vacuum. In Malaysia, it is the politicians who adopt or not these policies. Politicians need to have their act together. They need to show up to parliament and discuss and debate laws which would determine the cost of the nation for the coming years and decades. Instead, politicians are hiding from parliament, making decisions behind closed doors with no transparency. At the same time, they are harassing the media, interfering in JLCs, returning us to a period of darkness which landed us in this mess in the first place. We need leadership which unites and which inspires and which can lead the nation forward to a more prosperous and peaceful Malaysia. We need leadership which unites and inspires and which can lead the nation forward to a more prosperous and peaceful future. Thank you.